Adding text to an image is a great way to communicate a little bit of extra information. For instance, like adding a sale tag on a product image, or adding a headline to your homepage banner. But this can be a lot of work for your design team, especially if they're designing these images to be responsive and used across devices of all different shapes and sizes. In this video, I'll show you how to use Cloudinary to add text overlays to as many images as you want with just a little bit of code. Cloudinary's transformations gives you a ton of flexibility in how you can edit and customize your images. For instance, the overlay transformation allows you to take an image and put it on top of your base image, or even text and put it on top of your base image. In the case of text, it can be customized with different fonts, sizes, and colors. This opens up a ton of possibilities for you to create dynamic images based on content on your website. Let's jump into the code and I'll show you how to do it in this video. So this is the demo application that we'll use to show off Cloudinary's text overlays. This is a fake shoe store that I'm calling Fresh Feet. It's got a banner image in the top and then a three by two grid of products down below. We'll use text overlays to add a headline to the banner on top and sale tags to two of the shoes below. Over in Cloudinary, you can see that I've already uploaded the images we're using in the app. In the code, we've got our Cloudinary URL Gen SDK all set up, pointing to my cloud, Brad Garropy. And then we have our list of shoes, each one with a name and a Boolean indicating if it's on sale or not. That's what we'll use to indicate if we need to show the text overlay that says sale. Further down, you'll see that we've already defined our Cloudinary image for the header. It's been resized and automatically formatted and optimized. And we're using it here in the app as the banner image. Right underneath that, we're iterating over our list of shoes, creating a Cloudinary image for each one, and displaying it on the page. So let's start by adding the store name to the banner image. We'll put fresh feet right across the middle here. To start, we'll chain an overlay method to the Cloudinary image for the header. Each overlay needs a source, like text or an image. This can be imported from the Cloudinary URL gen package. In our case, we want some text. Another module imported from the URL gen SDK. In here, text takes two arguments. The first is a string, being the content of the text. We'll use the store name, fresh feet. And the second is how you style the text. You do that by creating a new text style object, which is a module, again, imported from the URL gen SDK. This accepts two arguments, a font family and a size. We'll use Georgia at a size of 100. And finally, the text style can be modified, like making it bold. So we'll use a font weight of bold here. And finally, we can give it a color by chaining the text color method off of text and giving it a string of white. You can really go crazy here and style text any way you want. Let's jump back to the app and see what it looks like. Here it is right in our app, and you'll notice that fresh feet isn't selectable. It's actually part of the image. Cloudinary added this layer on top of the image before it was delivered to the browser. Now let's work on the sale tags for the shoes. Because not all shoes are on sale, this is dynamic and based off of our data. So we'll have to create the overlay as a separate variable that we can use to optionally add it on later. Let's make a sale tag variable and define it as a text source. We'll use sale as the text here and style it very similarly to the headline. In this case, we've given it the Georgia font family, size 100, bold text with the color red. Now let's use our data to determine if this overlay should be applied or not. In this case, we'll be looking at the shoe.sale field, and we can run a ternary to determine if this is true. We could do image, add the overlay of sale tag, and send it to a URL. And if it's false, we could just use the images URL. Now only the shoes that have a true Boolean value for the sale property will use the overlay. Let's go back to the app and see if it's working. Here we are in the app and you can see that the text has been added dead center on these images. Normally, sale tags are in the upper left or upper right corners. So let's use some additional overlay properties to move the text around. Back on our sale tag source, we'll give it a position. We'll create a new instance of position. Again, a module imported from the Cloudinary URL gen SDK. And tell it to position itself in the top right corner of the image. We do this by setting where the gravity goes. So we'll use gravity, 
compass, another package, and give it a direction northeast. This puts the text in the top right corner. But we probably want a little spacing there, so we'll add some offset in the x and y directions. Now you can see the text has been shifted to the top right corner of the images, and it looks a lot better. And those offsets gave it essentially some padding on the top and right hand side of the text. This really just scratches the surface of what you can do with text overlays in Cloudinary. Let your creativity run wild and come up with whatever you'd like in your application. In the next video, we'll show you how to remove the background from any image using Cloudinary.